thank you so much my dear viewers today i'm going to discuss the most important topic that is servo motor please don't miss anyone for seeing this video in this picture i'm showing you the nameplate of the problematic servo motor the brand of this servo motor is the schneider electric here and the made and origin is the germany i'm just seeing the details of this servo motor nameplate so first of all the motor type of this the see the motor code identification number the maximum current of this i max n max maximum rotation of this current io maximum r and then the mo the continuous stall current the nominal power nominal speed of these rotations thermal classes temperature sensor date of the manufacturing serial number mass of this motor so this all are the details of this nameplate if mass anyone this servo motor details you can check and the show you this so now i am uh, showing how to open the non drive end side of the servo and the end drive of the servo so how to open the encoder please show this video until finish otherwise you cannot understand details of this motor so you need to open it very carefully for a screw removing purpose for i am just using the tools for the properly open so i am using in here the allen key set for the removing the four screw from the non drive in back cover i am removing from the back cover the, from the motor please saw this video in the very carefully now i want to open uh, this one is the the protector from in front of the connector of this encoder the plastic connector now i, I have to open the the male connector from the encoder male female connector fully open here is the you just see this the encoder this one is the fully encoder the brand is the sig brand origin is the germany it's very very important uh, the encoder or the motor feedback signal generation this encoder now i have to open if i need to open this encoder so first of all we need to screw open this screw all of four screw in here two is open from the structure the assembly of this uh, encoder and two is the fully connected from the encoder to the full main assembly of this stator so first i need to open this two both of the screen for one is the in for up to the encoder and another one is this one is a, on the encoder side and i am just open this one using the screwdriver you need to open before open this one you need to mark this one a specific marking this one which one is the direction of this encoder positions otherwise you cannot setting this encoder this is very important i'm just opening removing the second screw from the bottom of this encoder here is you all are see this video now both of the screw are open now i'm just opening the encoder let turn the very carefully these are the thread uh, including the stator main rotor including connected to the uh, encoder to stator shaft so i'm just fully removing the encoder from the stator rotor, uh, shaft from the shaft this is very carefully to open this one this one is the connection this one uh i'm just before tell you that this one is the sig brand encoder origin germany this is very sensitive this is operating voltage is 0 to uh, 30 volt dc this is the connector male female connector and this is the very very important for this motor because this is feedback signal for this motor now i'm just opening this uh, assembling of this the encoder position this one is the uh, i'm just seeing the identification point this one is the bearing the drive inside bearing 
I'm mentioning the before this one is the 6307 bearing number I'm just trying to open this now the driving side because we need to open this driving side uh, full cover because uh, we need to re uh, replace the bearing because bearing, bearing is damaged in this motor I'm fully open the both of side of this in uh, in drive and non in drive the the servo motor. Now this is the stator, and this is the slow inside the rotor. You just see, this is the rotor. This one is the bearing six three zero seven. This one is the non drive inside drive inside bearing, and this one is the non drive inside bearing. So both of bearing are damaged, roughly damaged. So we need to replace this both of bearing. So without change this bearing you cannot put this because it will burn this motor servo motor. So this is the connection of the uh, I am just showing you the, the stator of this stator and slot. You need to clean out this both of side of this stator and the side. I am just fixing for the I am just using the bearing of the NTN brand. Uh, the bearing is a uh, non drive inside bearing is for I'm using in here uh, 53005 this one the non drive inside and the drive inside this one is 6307 I'm using two bearing in here for fixing the problematic servo motor rotor uh, this one is the rotor I'm just fixing in here this both of bearing I'm just putting both the bearing in the stator uh, sorry, this is not a stutter. This is the rotor. I'm just cleaning the full stutter of this from the any dust. I'm already fixing a uh, non drive inside and the 6305 bearing and the fully tightening. After that, I'm just putting the non drive inside the bearing and the magnetic uh, side of this. And this one is I'm just putting up this uh, stutter from the from the stator side I'm just putting this very carefully you need to because this one is the magnet permanent magnet you can put this very carefully otherwise you can uh, just coil is stress or any other issue happen so you need to very carefully using this one otherwise the permanent magnet coil will be that damage so this one is the non driving side the encoder side I'm just putting in here I'm just trying to pushing uh, this uh, fixing done. Now I'm just this is a clip. This is very important uh, for the product. The not very easily re removing the bearing side. You need to put this one. Very this is very important on circlip. You need to put this one. Okay, now I'm using the driving side. The the four screw is spring screw spring. Uh, end of this uh, in front of the circle. So finally, the circle is the booty. The this is the protection of the bearing, uh, not removing the bearing or fully tightening of the bearing. We can use this circle in here. Now I'm just going to put the very very important uh, point that that is uh, the encoder. After finish the work, I'm just putting the encoder of this right position. I'm just before the opening the sub, uh, encoder, I'm just put marking in here. Yes, this is the. Uh, I'm just putting uh, encoder. I'm just tightening both of the screw of this. The uh, encoder. It is connected for the uh, with the encoder assembly to the stator stator when the permanent when the motor shaft is rotating the encoder is rotating encoder in your inner side is rotating i'm just after fully connected then i'm just connection given the encoder connections the male female connector i'm putting this on i'm just fix this on and the setting done completed this is full of the connection the encoder i'm just putting now the 
assembling outside of the assembling of this connector now on the back back end side i'm just putting in here this is all of the full system of this servo motor thank you so much for listening to me in here for servo motor if anything wrong please comment and share with me thank you